Hey friends, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel, Fira. Today's video is going to be gothic makeup brands to try in 2020. I'm very excited to share this video with you today. Just a quick note that Kat Von D is not on this list because I'm Jewish and she has had a pattern of behavior of being racist and anti-Semitic and anti-vax and because that she's had this pattern of behavior and I haven't seen a change in her behavior, I am not going to be supporting her. My many years in therapy have taught me to look for patterns of behavior and to see if people have grown and changed whenever they apologize for their behavior or if they're basically just paying lip service. And in Kat Von D's case, I haven't really seen her grow and change. Same with Jeffree Star, really. Number one on my list is a brand called Apocalypse. Elliptic Beauty. They are 100% cruelty free, 100% vegan, and they're an indie brand. They have a lot of fun names and spooky packaging. If you're somebody who's looking for an alternative to Kat Von D's color brow pomades, Apocalyptic Beauty has their badass brow pomades that are similar in style and formula, so I think that these are a really nice alternative to Kat Von D. They also make like um, all different kinds of scented setting powders and blushes and highlighters and stuff like that, so they have a pretty wide variety of products to choose from. Number two on my list is Baby Bat Beauty, and I'm actually wearing um, a color from them today called amulet which is what the the purple like the duochrome liner is that i'm wearing baby bat beauty is cruelty free with vegan offerings and they are an indie brand they have great names in gothic packaging like this so i don't know if you can tell but it's basically got a metallic purple and bats on it and the name of this color is called beneath the stars so really good naming uh, nomenclature and stuff like that so i like i think they're a lot of fun and i actually have several of their eyeshadows in one of my um glam tech palettes which is a custom palette with bats on it these are all eyeshadows from baby bat beauty you may have seen me review it recently on the blog, but Baby Bat Beauty came out with their Knox palette, which is like basically a vampire themed palette with a ton of like reds and stuff. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description box down below so you can go check out my swatches of that palette. But this is a really, really cool gothic brand. Number three on my list is Glam Goth Beauty. They're 100% cruelty free, 100% vegan, and they're indie. They have great names and really gorgeous packaging. As you can see, this is one of their glitters here. They basically have a Seven Deadly Sins palette, a ton of different glitters, and um, like a glitter primer, like sticky base stuff. Like this stuff right here, this is their, their glitter based stuff to basically hold the glitter in place if you're going to wear it. Oh, and I believe their big selling point is that their glitters, almost all of them, are, bio de are biodegradable. Number four on my list is Furine. So Furine is 100% vegan, 100% cruelty free, and indie, and they have been a staple in my makeup collection since probably 2008 or 2009. They're a great indie brand. They have really, really cool names for their products. Most of their products, I think are named after like endangered animals um, but they also have just like really cool nature names in general and they make a lot of amazing duochromes multi-chrome eyeshadows um, they have loose and pressed they also have really pretty highlighters they have setting powders their Firenay Pixie epoxy is amazing for dealing with duochromes or really sparkly shades and getting like the most maximum effect out of it Number five on my list is Milk Cosmetics. Milk Cosmetics is 100% cruelty free. They have vegan options and they're an indie brand. They're also huge now because they're in Sephora. They have great product names. I love their packaging. You can see Smoke Sessions, Muerte, Radioactive. Like their, their palettes are really great. I like their lips, liquid lipsticks quite a bit. Um, I like the new version of their bullet lipsticks because I actually bought three shades. I have Moto, Cherry, and Mary Jane in the, in the bullet lipsticks, which are great, but their liquid lipsticks are excellent. Their lip pencils are awesome. I really like their eye pencils too. So yeah, pretty much everything they make I really like. And I really kind of feel like Melt replaced Kat Von D at Sephora, if only for the fact that um, they're better products, they're Leaping Money certified, and they have like that gothic feel to it. So they're kind of like meeting that need for me and I know many other people. Number six on my list is Black Moon Cosmetics. They are 100% cruelty free, they're 100% vegan, and they're Leaping Bunny certified. In case you don't know what Leaping Bunny certified means, it means that they are certified by Leaping Bunny, which is a uh, nonprofit or organization that goes out and makes sure that these brands that say they are cruelty free are actually, actually cruelty free. Unlike PETA, who just requires people to say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm cruelty free. Um, Leaping Bunny will go out and contact the manufacturers and the suppliers and make sure that everything really is cruelty free as stated. So I really, really love Leaping Bunny and the work that they do. They are the gold standard for cruelty free to me. And I feel like they work their butts off and they deserve recognition. So they're awesome. So yeah, onto Black Moon Cosmetics. Um, as I mentioned, they're an indie brand. I love them. They are. They do have a limited selection of their products available at Ulta now, which is pretty cool. Um, I have both of their eyeshadow palettes, and I love them. The Full Moon Orb of Light is like an all mattes palette, but Black Metals is amazing. It has like these rich gothic jewel tones that are just so beautiful. Um, the Black Moon Cosmetics highlighters are my favorite. Those, these are the ones that I wear like. Uh, pretty much all day every day. I'm actually wearing Cat Shark today for my highlight just because I love it and it's like this iridescent like pinky purple glow. So so pretty. Um, I'm wearing Black Moon Sorrow which is one of their liquid lipsticks although I did put Ritual de Fee's Cygnus on top of it or um, 
corvus on top of it just to give it like extra depth, depth and dimension. But Black Moon has a lot of beautiful products. Um, their liquid eyeshadows are great too. They even got me to wear nudes. Like I like Haunting, which is one of their nudes, like nude, lips, nude lip colors, which I hardly ever wear nudes. So yeah, great formula, great color selection. Love their products. Oh, and their makeup brushes are nice too. I was actually sad that I couldn't go and buy um, some more of their makeup brushes when I was looking at the Black Friday sale, but they were all gone. <laughs> Number seven on my list is Shroud Cosmetics. They were formerly known as Strobe Cosmetics. They are 100% cruelty free, 100% vegan and they're Leaping Bunny certified and they're indie. They have cool names and fun packaging. Um, they came out with the Creepy Cute palette and the Divinity palette and they just launched the Arcana palette so their names definitely have like a gothic witchy feel to them. I highly recommend the two palettes I own which are Creepy Cute and Divinity because they have a really nice texture. Um, the colors wear all day. They're easy to blend and Creepy Cute was um, actually a palette that I compared to Kat Von D's Pastel Goth. They're very similar but I feel like Creepy Cute is better because my Kat Von D pastel goth like kind of like it's like the pigments just stopped working after about a year year and a half I'm not really sure what but that it just doesn't apply or blend right anymore and the creepy cute palette I have from strobe works just fine Number eight on my list is Impulse Cosmetics. They are 100% cruelty free. They have vegan options and they're an indie brand. They have pretty colors. They do have kind of basic packaging and they make like eyeshadows, pressed glitters, and lipsticks that I think are very goth friendly and like some of like the more alternative colors. Number nine on my list is Divina Cosmetics. Divina Cosmetics is an indie brand. They're 100% cruelty free. They have vegan options and they have a ton of really awesome eyeshadows, especially duochromes and multichromes that you can pick up. They have different collections. Um, they came out with like a Tarte Icy Betch palette, like uh, uh, not knockoff, except it was better quality. So they do like a lot of really fun things. And I feel like if you are into more of like the alternative looks using duochrome makeup, this is a good good brand for you to hit. Number 10 on my list is Ritual Defi. They are 100% cruelty free. They have vegan options. They are Leaping Bunny certified and they're an indie brand. And they are definitely in the luxury indie beauty realm. They have awesome names for their products. Um, I love their packaging. Their packaging is probably my favorite of any brand on this list. If you haven't seen it before, this is what it looks like. It's basically sleek and black and it has like a star print on it. And I just, I feel like it just looks really classy. So I like how this looks. So my favorite products from them are the Inner, Green, the Inner Glow pigments and highlighters. So I have, I'm wearing a couple different ones today. I'm wearing Intuition, which is my favorite contour color. And then I put a little bit of the High Priestess as a blush. And um, I also use Cygnus, which is one of their eyeshadows along my lower lid, just to kind of like add to this look because I thought it'd be fun. I really like the lipsticks and the eyeshadows that they have. I find the containers that the eyeshadows come in to be just a pain in the ass because, I mean, they look really cool, don't get me wrong, but it's hard for me to get my fingers and my nails down in here because if you have any length in your nails, you're not going to be able to get your finger into this jar very well. So I really don't like that. And I don't like that two of the LA colors that I bought, which were Corvus and Hydra. Like they don't set and because I have oily hooded eyelids, I can't wear stuff that doesn't set because it just will crease and get all over the place and it looks awful. So um, I'm actually wearing Corvus as on top of my pad on top of my lipstick today, which is fine because it's not going to it's not going to crease and cause problems like it will in my eyes. But it was really disappointed that I bought this badass color or two of these badass colors and I can't really use them on my eyes because of my eye shape. I was really, really, really sad about that. <laughs> Everything else is really nice. I like the formula. I like that the cream products, they actually got me to be more comfortable with working with cream products just because I feel like they're so easy to work with. So number 11 is My Pretty Zombie. My Pretty Zombie is 100% cruelty free and they have a ton of vegan options and they're an indie brand and I absolutely love them. Um, they will often send you like a severed finger or zombie parts in with your order. And if you don't like those, they'll send a cat, which is what I prefer. <laughs> They make a ton of gorgeous eyeshadows and duochromes. They have really unusual duochrome blushes too. Like I'm talking like deep blurple colors and gray, gray lilacs, um, all different kinds of like neat and interesting colors, like pinks with like a green sheen, just really, really pretty stuff. Um, they also have some lipsticks and some nail polish, but mostly like their eyeshadows is their bread and butter, or eyeshadows and blushes are probably their bread and, bread and butter and what they're really good at in my opinion. Number 12 on my list is Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, and they make a lot of cool stuff that's officially licensed, like this Vampira palette, and they have an, an Elvira palette. 
Um, their Book of Contour stuff is amazing because it's multi-purpose. You can use it for blush, for contouring, for eyeshadow. They have a lot, a lot of great products. Um, some of their lipsticks are really nice too. Like I love the color Bruja that they make. It's like this perfect sort of living dead girl color for me. They are 100% vegan and they're indie. Number 13 on my list is Lime Crime. Now Lime Crime is supposed to be 100% cruelty free and 100% vegan and they were Leaping Buddy certified, but when I went to check before I filmed this video just to make sure they were still certified, they're actually not on Leaping Bunny's list right now. They've been removed. So I sent an email to Lime Crime and I tweeted at them to ask, hey, what's going on? And I also reached out to Leaping Bunny and it seems like Lime Crime hasn't recommitted to Leaping Bunny yet. So I don't know if that means they're still gonna be cruelty-free and vegan. And that really bothers me. I put them on this list because not because of their packaging, because their packaging is super girly, and um, the names of their stuff is okay. Like some of the names I like, some of them I hate. But I really do like their products. And I felt like the Venus and Mortalis palette, this palette right here. Oops, what is that on there? And the Venus and Mortalis palette was like basically my perfect gothic palette. It is a great palette. I love it. Um, I have it reviewed on my blog. If you haven't seen it, I'll insert a link in the description box down below so you can go check it out. But because of that, I'm like... I was like, well, I still want to include them, but I want to put this caveat that they were Leaping Buddy certified and they're not right now, and I don't know what's going on with them. And in general, like with Lime Crime, everything that I've I have tried from them, I've purchased myself. I don't get PR from them because I hated the brand for years. I felt like the owner Doe was just a terrible person. But when she stepped away from the company, that gave me the confidence to buy from the brand. So that's why I started buying things. And like some of their products, like their Smoky Brow Pen is my go-to brow pen now because it's goof proof for me. I can't overdo it and I really appreciate that. I really, really love their plushies, lip, the lipstick, lipsticks, which are like um, lipstick that you can kind of apply with your finger and blot it out. And I think they look great. And the glowing ones of those, oh my God, they're so gorgeous. But um, yeah, I they're on my list, and, but I wanted to add in that that little bit about I'm really concerned because they don't have the Leaping Bunny certification right now. Number 14 on my list is Aroma Lee. Aroma Lee is 100% cruelty free. They have vegan options and they're indie. They're one of the oldest indie brands. They've been around forever and a day. They have really interesting names and really unique packaging. It's not all gothic, but some of it is, I would say, very like strange and unusual. There's like a whole insectarium collection. And so the artwork on that is like all different insects. Um, there's a collection that's all gods and goddesses, or I think it's all goddesses. So it's all different like artwork of of goddesses so i really like um the artwork which is very unusual with it that she uses and the colors her mats are great her duochromes are great she's got a lot of um the interference colors that give you like uh, multi like multi-prismatic shifts um obviously her blushes are great uh, i like some of the lip products too but i think if you're looking especially for like cool toned contours that are in like grays and purples and greens definitely check out aroma lee because they're going to have them number 15 on my list is sugar pill sugar pill is 100 percent cruelty free they have vegan options they're an indie brand and they're leaping bunny certified i have loved sugar pill for years ever since they first launched i think they first launched in like 2010 um, they, have, they make great eyeshadows. I love their bullet lipsticks and their liquid lipsticks. Their liquid lipstick formula is one of my favorites. They have a lot of great colors. So I think that they're a really um, interesting and fun brand. Their packaging is not goth at all. It's very like bright and quirky, like white and pink, but I really think their products are great. Number 16 on my list is Saucebox. Saucebox Cosmetics is 100% cruelty free. They have vegan options. They're an indie brand. I love that their little logo for cruelty free has a poodle on it because as you know, I have poodles and I'm poodle obsessed. Um, their packaging isn't gothic, but it's eco-friendly. So it's um, made from recycled materials and they do have a lot of fun and interesting names. They've made some amazing palettes like the Etude palette, which is a hit with every makeup artist I've ever known. Every makeup artist I've ever known has been obsessed with that palette because they say that you can do like your brows, you can do the whole face with that palette just because it's so wonderful. Um, there's also the Mermaid Life palette, which is beautiful, and the Secret Garden palette, which was my favorite. It was one of my favorite palettes of this year was Secret Garden. So, so pretty. And Saucebox also has a sister brand called Moon Slice Beauty, and they have, um, like, they're a, a more budget beauty, uh, they make more budget beauty items. And I've actually got reviews of three of their palettes on my blog. There's the Moonshake palette, which is like all the new nude colors. It's very comparable to Huda Beauty's new, new nude palette. There's the Moon, Moon Magic palette, which is the amazing purple palette. It's like my favorite purple palette because it has every single color of purple that I want in one palette. And then there's the Emerald Moon palette, which is their green palette. And that is so much fun, especially if you are Slytherin inclined, you'll love their Emerald Moon palette. And who could forget Black Widow, their blackest black eyeshadow that everybody adores. So yeah, they have a lot of cool products. Number 17 on my list is Milk Makeup. Milk Makeup is 100% vegan. They are Leaping Bunny certified and they are amazing. They make probably 
more of my favorite products right now than any other brand. They're all from Milk. They make my favorite primer, which is the Hydro Grip Primer. They make my um, they make my favorite concealer, which is the Flex Concealer. I love their foundation stick. I love their um, Blur Matte Liquid Foundation. I love their their Kush uh, mascara. I'm wearing that today. I love the Kush Brow Gel. Wearing that today. Their um, Kush Lash Growth Serum. I'm using that to help my eyelashes grow like crazy. So yeah, I just I love their stuff. Oh, and I also love their Supernova highlighter. I used that under my brow under my brows today. So yeah, they make a lot of beautiful products. Recently, I bought, bought Mount Milk's Rally, and then one of their lipsticks, and like their Pale Cool Mauve, and they're like my perfect my my cheeks but better and my lips but better colors, and absolutely love them. So I love their lipstick formula, and I really like their cheeky blush formula stuff too. Okay, number eighteen on my list is Manic Panic. Manic Panic is one hundred percent vegan. They're one hundred percent cruelty free, and they're indie, and they've been around for longer than I've been alive. They have basic black packaging, and their names are kind of gothy. Um, so I feel like I really had to include Manic Panic because they're the first gothic makeup brand I knew of. They're the, their first hair by they were the first hair dye brand I ever used. So I have like this like deep love for Manic Panic, even though I don't really use any of their products anymore. Um, I have to say I hate their website. I feel like their website is from 1996 or 1998, but it's so hard to navigate. You can't see all like you don't have like their shade range in order from dark to light or light to dark. I don't care which way you do it. Just do it one direction or the other so that people can figure it out. But they just their their site's a mess. <laughs> And I feel like that's why I don't hear people talk about them um, very much. It's just because their site's really hard to navigate. It's hard to figure out what color you are. <laughs> but I still feel like they need to be on this list. Number 19 on my list is Milani Cosmetics. Milani is 100% cruelty free. They have vegan options. They are Leaping Bunny certified. And I have really been impressed by Milani over the past year. They've stepped up their game. They've come out with a wider range of um, foundation shades. They actually have a foundation shade that matches me now. In their foundation stick, I can wear the shade Porcelain. Um, in their popular liquid Conceal and Perfect liquid foundation. They expanded the range, um, both light and dark. And I think there's at least one shade I can wear in this now when before I couldn't wear anything because it was all too dark and orange. They recently came out with a new line of eyeliner pencils. These pencils are awesome. If you want to learn about, more about the Milani foundation that I love, which is actually my pick for the best drugstore foundation that you could buy for under $10, go ahead and check out over here because I have a video review up on that so you can just see exactly why I love it, the top 10 reasons and all of that. Number 20 on my list is Shablam Cosmetics. Shablam Cosmetics is 100% cruelty, cruelty free. They have vegan options. They're an indie brand and they're Leaping Bunny certified. They have awesome packaging and cool names and they're a new to me brand. I just happened to find them when I was out looking to see if there were any new indie brands that had been um, Leaping Bunny certified and I found them on Leaping Bunny's website. I just ordered three of their mutant lipstick colors. There's Enchantress, which is supposed to be like an orange sunset gold with a pink shift. There's Sorceress, which is supposed to be like a metallic lavender with like a blue shift. And then there's Witch, which is supposed to be like a greenish, greenish gold with a red to purple shift. So I'm looking forward to giving those a try and reporting back to you on how they wear. And it looked like on their website that you could actually use the lip products as a multi-purpose product on, as, as lipstick, as eyeshadow, and as like a cheek highlight because it would sheer out. So I'm definitely curious to give those a try. Number 21 on my list is Necromancy Cosmetica. And they are a 100% vegan indie brand. They make the most beautiful lipsticks. My favorite lipstick color by them is called Sacramental. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link up here so you can go check it out. I believe it's in my Power Reds video that I love. Number 22 on my list is Silk Naturals. Silk Naturals is a cruelty-free indie brand with vegan options. They have really simple black packaging and I would say really simple non-offensive names. Um, they have a ton of products, basically products for every single thing that you would want, like cream products, um, powder products, loose eyeshadows, they have pressing kit if you want to press eyeshadows, they have skincare, they've got it all. In general, um, what I really like are their velvet lipsticks and I love their duochrome eyeshadows and they have really nice blushes too. So they're another great indie brand to check out. Number 23 on my list is Concrete Minerals. Concrete Minerals is a 100% vegan and cruelty-free indie brand. I just popped over to their website recently to check out and see if they've done anything new and I ordered their new Starman collection, but they have like a ton of really cute little bundles. So like there's a like witch bundle if you wanna buy those eyeshadows. They have different lip products and eyeshadow primer and stuff like that, but they're really, really cute indie brand. Number 24 on my list is Geek Chic Cosmetics. They're 100% cruelty-free, 100% vegan indie brand. They have cutesy packaging and names, very like anime and geeky gamer type theme stuff. They have tons of awesome highlighters, uh, lipsticks and eyeshadows. In general, I really feel like their highlighter collection is one of the best that they have. And I like their lip products 
products and they have some fun like duochrome eyeshadows. I like the color of the month stuff that they do too. They definitely they definitely cover from like pastel goth or kawaii goth to deep, you know, dark witchy grungy stuff. They do have color names like Black Witch, Death's Head, Glacial Ice, Petrichor, Petrichor, Pet Petrichor. Number 25 on my list is Pretty Zombie Cosmetics, not to be confused with My Pretty Zombie. Pretty Zombie Cosmetics is 100% vegan and they only make lip liquid lipsticks. They have a really interesting liquid lipstick formula because it doesn't dry down all the way and it's very moisturizing and comfortable. And in fact, if you were somebody who can't wear any sort of lip liquid lipsticks, I would actually give their formula a try first just because it is a very hydrating formula. Their colors are all very like dark and gothic and vampy and they have like you know, all of the different like black and purple, black and blue, black and green, black and red, so stuff like that. So they're really, really deep shades. Number 26 on my list is NYX Cosmetics. NYX Cosmetics is 100% cruelty free and they do have vegan options. They are a, another great staple drugstore brand and basically all of their packaging, at least as far as I know, is all black and simple. So it's going to go with pretty much anything you like and they have all kinds of really cool unusual colors like I really liked their glitter goals line like oil spill is so beautiful I also really like um, I think it's amethyst vibes from that but they have a lot of great um, glitter lipsticks I like their pinup lips lipsticks um, they do have nice blushes in fact their sweet cheeks so taupe is one of my favorites for contouring right now so they have a wide variety of products that can cover you for whatever you need Oh, and their foundation range. They actually have a great foundation range. Um, I can wear the shade Pale and Pale Light in many of the different foundation formulas. And the Pale Concealer also works for me as well. But I love that they actually offer like uh, shades for the palest and the deepest skin tone. So that's great. And last but not least on my list is Urban Decay. Urban Decay is 100% cruelty free. They have many vegan options and they're one of the biggest brands out there. Their packaging is, is mostly like silver metallic and it's kind of fun. They've been a staple in my makeup collection for a very long time. Their, uh, their uh, eyeliner pencils, their lip pencils, their vice lipsticks are my favorite bullet lipstick formula ever. So I almost always turn to them first when I'm looking for a lipstick color. Um, shades like Oblivion, Voodoo, Heroin, Junkie, Perversion are some of my favorites. Oh, Hex Hex is another great one too. They also have Bitter Bittersweet, which is one of the best purple blushes because it's fun. If you apply it really lightly, you can get like a light pinky purple, but the more you go, you can build it up and make it deeper. So yeah, they have a lot of great products. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed my Gothic makeup brands to try in 2020. What are some of your favorite Gothic makeup brands? And yes, I am quite aware that you can make a Gothic look, a gothic look from any brand with any products that you like if you feel like it's Gothic and it's going to fit your taste and aesthetic. Absolutely true. But I did want to cover like brands that I feel are really, I, I did want to talk about brands that I feel like in general are either trying to be gothic, they have gothic pack, pack, packaging or aesthetic, or you could actually uh, shop from them and like put together gothic looks. So yeah, anyway, hope you think this video was helpful. If you're wondering what to watch next, check over here because I'm going to re recommend some video, maybe my, <laughs> some video for you to check out. Um, on a personal note, I'm still struggling. I have a lot going on in my personal life that's been really, really difficult to deal with. And I've been going to therapy sometimes about four hours a week. So life, is, life has been hard, but um, I'm getting better. And I'm gonna try to continue to do more videos. It's just right now I'm really struggling. Anyway, thanks for listening. I'll see you guys next time.